Hello everybody and welcome back to Russian Fishing for Tunguska River. And I got a new present and I'm going to make a quick episode. I got my first real spinning ultralight. I had got gifted this ethnic classic casting rod but I could never get it to cast. And the gear ratio for the reel was all different. I never could figure it out. But now I got a regular old Mecta SM70 ultralight. 3kg, I bought a Zeman Bird 3.5, I got 4.4 fluorocarbon and a 3.1 liter on it. It's a Zeman Hornet number 1006. And this thing is more fun than I've ever seen before. It's a little early yet, but what we're going to do, I'll get out here where we're going to start. That's going to be a pretty simple episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to fish upriver with our ultralight. During the day, I've been having great luck. In fact, I hate seeing it, but you hardly do a cast without catching a fish. So we're going to head up right that way, and I'm just going to wait a little bit, and then we'll head off. I've gotten one Arctic. You get some of them tiny ones. You get a lot of browns and a lot of graylings, at least with the spinners I'm using. Let's do it going a little faster than I normally do because you got to kind of I'll show you do a couple this first cast uninterrupted and I probably will this might be a longer or a shorter video depending bigger fish I'll show you definitely got some And once it catches it and starts pulling it, you can kind of just let it go. Just make sure on your tension bar you can see a little bit of flutter like that. See it pop in there? Normally you get, there's a fish right there. Bam. I have had really good luck with uh, grayling doing it. So you kind of almost cast straight out from you. When you cast upstream in this fast current, it's very realistic. It's very cool. It bodes well for fly fishing, I can tell you that. Not quite sure what I can go to with the drag. I just got some new line for this. I had some six... Six main line, six kg, but ah, it doesn't seem like this got me much more. Yeah, it looks like a tiny little arctic. Yep. Nothing against arctics. But I want tiny fish that I can make some XP on. And this thing gets a 100% XP bonus. I believe ultra, true ultralight, all of them do, but it is super good. So it would be highly recommended for people that don't have premium, because you can kill the XP. You start getting a nice freaking grayling, nice brown trouts. Boom, fish. I mean, it's almost perfect for this little hornet because when you get it going downstream with the current pulling out, it, you can see on your tension bar that flutter. I hope you'll be able to see that. It's killer. Now let's go catch some fish. And I'm sorry for the lateness in my videos, but I'm having trouble uploading them to YouTube now that I'm on it. It shouldn't be a big deal, but that is a great link. Sorry about that. I've got tons of videos to do, but... Now I have a big bottleneck uploading them, but hopefully it'll get better any day. If not, I'm on it. Boom. That should be good. Watch your line when you're just letting it float like that, because it will get smashed. Yep, that got smashed. Not 
It's a nicer fish. I don't know what that is. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly fish. I haven't lost lure yet, but it's going to be a thing for this. You're going to have to sacrifice some money. Probably to get XP. The best thing about this is XP. And the money seems alright because you're catching these nice fish. So we'll see if we lose one today. I'm, I haven't yet. That's one thing good about fishing this river. But we're near the entrance of the main river here. Good fighting fish. Keep an eye on my leader and stuff. Make sure it's not. I made two or three of the spec these ones just for today. This is a nice setup. We got. Brown, maybe? I think it's a brown. I think it's a white fish, maybe? Nope. Hell 5,900 XP and four tenths, and we can get a new skill. Let's get up here a little bit. Fish the bottom of this island. I like to get that other side has a faster trough. I have not fished that yet. I'm wondering if there ain't pink salmon over there. They'd want to be in that highly oxygenated water. Ooh. Fish. Try to keep my drag lower. One thing, this is not the best ultralight. This is true ultralight. You can get the top end gear a lot heavier than this. I'm not even sure, but at least 5.8 kgs, I think I remember looking at it. What is that weirdo thing? Trout? Yep, just a little one. Try to get another one of them out of there. One right out of that chute by them rocks. Fluttering on my tension bar. We got a tiny fish. Oh! Weekly record pellet I got there. Nice! Ultralight record. That's my first one. I didn't even notice that. It's just a weekly. We can do better. You can get Asian smelt. So you got some chances of getting some records. I mean, fairly easy. I can see where we can get a nice fish on up river here where we can do real good. What do we got there? We're not going to stay in two place too long. See, Siberian loach. Look at that. On a spinner. One more out of there. Like I said, it's rare you don't get a fish every cast on this river, at least. I have not fished it anywhere else. I am going to head to freaking Windy and go chub fishing, though, you can be assured. And at the end of the episode, we will look in the store, and I'll show you how much this is. I spent a little of my gold. I buy the gold when it's on sale, because the rod was on sale, fish. And then I bought the reel. 
That's one thing nice about having some money stored up. I got three or four thousand now, so if they get a wild hair, I can just buy most things. Well, no, I shouldn't say that, should I? Is that an upside down grayling? I believe so. Arctic grayling. I think. I'm not sure. It's upside down. Nope. Eastern Siberian. Not a flag, though. So no picture. We can get more. Let's go. My goal is now is to let our thing come down about here. Right over at the base of this sign. So we go up to this bush. Quarter it just downstream. I threw it onto the land. Ooh, fish. Oh, I got off. Ooh, you can get right out on this thing. How beautiful. Fish. Simple, looks like another grayling. And just to save time, I'll show you how you I got out on this thing. This is killer. You Siberian, not a flag. You can go it out on this log. I don't know if that helps. Fish. What was that? A little pinky, I think. Oh, man, we need to get a flag pinky. 3,100 XP for that, anyways. Alright. Let's hit up. Yeah, it's almost noon. We gotta get going. Fish, nice fish. Ooh, looks like another pinky. Ooh, there's a flag, 5700. Fish? Ooh. What is this one? It's not turning much. So let him tire. You're in the tree. You're safe, Beth. This one is just down and just sits there. Very odd. Is it? What in the heck is it indeed? That might be a snub nose snibber nabber or whatever it's called. Frickin' something Dr. Seuss fish. Sharp nose, sharp snouted Lenock. 11,400 XP. I wanna try to fish the mouth of that feeder stream. Getting up here, we're gonna make a couple casts, and I can come here and do some too. Do a little camping, we'll fish somewhere right there for the night. I fished this this end of the island once though and it did good 
I want to get my swing to go right down here and then hit this side if at all possible. Alright, so let's air this thing out, man. I almost try to burn some line in because I'm casting so much of it out. Oh, fish. Didn't even notice. But I'm liking the tiny fish fishing. And now that you can make all them live baits, you can make a bunch of live bait, and I had good luck with them last night out in the main river. So I'm looking forward to doing it again. There's that windy bait fish, ultralight fish for monstrous trophy chubs. We got there. What is that? A little trout. Not big enough for a picture, though. Fish. What type of jingle bells? They have Christmas edition, buddy. Fish. You know what? Let's switch over to a Christmas frickin' spinner for the rest of the day. Go for frickin' fences. Nothing can resist those. Another little brown. Back to SM70UL. That's what I got. I'm using the Zenith Hornet number one. 3.63 grams. The green. Little spiker number two. No, let's go with a blue Pullmore spinner number one. The Christmas spinner. I mean, it's just constant action. It is fabulous. I'm going to Belaya, too. Paybacks for Belaya coming. This bank really helps. If you get on this higher ground, you can really get some up, up on them fish. Be another pellet. Yep, one point one eight seven, thirty five hundred XP. Fish, another little grayling. Fish and do 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 do. Fishing here, people. Ah, oh, got off. Dang text. Fish. Ah, oh, got off.
fish. All right, cut the streak alive. Text or nothing, the UL catches fish. It's unstoppable. It's my first fish up here. I wonder what we get. Probably some of the same. Is that another pellet? Yep. Oh, fish. Fish took it while it was dropping there, you see? I hope they did. I hope everybody did. All right, this should be a pretty good fish. like the nice little brown there something we can get a picture of at least I'm hoping for a kg nope but 4600 XP and the pretty model fish can't believe you've been not in my life this whole time. I'm going to have to ne rename you. Somehow mine TL's mind into you. Ooh, somebody got a little pinky. So you can get him up around here too. It looks like it could be a grayling. I thought I saw a big fin. Get out there for that last two fish. We get 20 fish. Yep, first cast with no catch. What do we think? All right. Let's try one up around here ah oh, I lost connection tell you I'm all right everybody you saw that I just crashed let's uh instead of running all the way back there we can do the same thing I've actually all right tiny fish that's what we're at Sculpin. Nope. We can't make it into sculpins. Brown trouts will eat the sculpins. We've got some skull. I don't know what kind of sculpins they are, but some kind of sculpin from Russia got in the Great Lakes from their freighters. And you catch tons of them around the pier. Everybody says nothing eats them, but brown trout eat them. All right, this is too frustrating for me. I'm out. Let's go sell these fish. Well, you know what? Let's take a couple casts of Walter Light. Leave those two. How about that? pretty early. It's four o'clock. Let's try it. Fish? to be another nice little grayling. Nothing huge, but I hope a flag. Yep, 456. 3400 XP. Let's try a couple more. 
to show you how freaking awesome it is. Yep, I'm pulling this thing in. It's driving me insane. I'll leave that one out. Take a couple casts around here. Spiker, Spiker. Let's try the Spiker. Zeman Spiker number 2. 3.53. Blue blade with red dots. And let's go out here a little bit. Oh, fish. Got a fish down here too. Look at that tiny thing. Asian smell. Alright, I'm getting some weirdness. Let's catch this fish. Get on getting on. Oh yeah, finish this sucker off right, that's something at least. The old cock chafer. Sorry, my roommate's having a stroke on the phone or somebody over, if you can hear him. Tell him to shut up, but it don't matter. He's alright. Nothing too big. This is a pretty nice setup, this is 14 kg setup, so. What is that? Just a little eyed? Well, yeah, it's a nice eyed. Yep, 1.6. Nice eyed, actually. Alright, let's go sell them. That ended kind of weird, but as you can see, they're freaking. Ultralight's off the hook. Alright, let's see what we got here. If anything. Nope, that'd be a nice little contract. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 22 fish, and I mean, I wasn't really going for feeder. I was wanting to show you something, but I will do another one on that. And let's go by price. And let's do it. The 1.969 pellet, 1795. 1.095 shirt nose lana. 1727, 450E6, Arctic Grayling, 1279, 722 Brown Trout, 1084, 1.187 Pellet, 1082, 1.624 Eyed, 818, 589 Pink Salmon, 769, and then all these little, little guys, I mean I guess it's going to be expected, fishing with the tiny lures. 486 and what do we get for XP? I'll have to kind of guess. So not the greatest money, but for XP we got 635, so I probably made 50k XP. Just throwing that little spinner. It's great for exploring, as you can see. Let's go show you. I'll show you. See what this uh, real and stuff costs. Maybe it wasn't though. Let's uh, just go spinning rounds. This is the one I got right here, Mecta SM seventy UL. It is nine hundred and twenty nine, so a thousand. And then for reels, I got a spinning reel. I 
I got the bird two. 1,000, that's eight. So for under 2,000, you can get that set up. Probably not the best, but I do like it an awful lot. I gotta get a smaller diameter line. I'm gonna have to look at that. I might pick a mono. Not sure. So around two grand, you got your setup. Probably two grand with a real, or with a nice nine for it. But all right, everybody, that's my first experience with ultralight. It was a pleasure showing you. I wish the internet was a little better, but hopefully it'll be fixed in the next few days. Landlord's out of town, so I can't really bother him for a day or two. Hopefully it'll self-fix because there was some kind of outage. But have a good one. Please thumbs up. It's super important. And subscribe. I have great stuff. You'll have a great time. And I'll see you outside somewhere. Have a good one, everybody.